there's um, too much hope. And it's really of your own will and leave some of the happiness you bring. Count Dracula, I am Dracula. I think it's officially okay to say that Bill the Butcher version one can be retired from being the best figure that Rayman has done. Uh, these two completely knock it out the park. Three years of waiting for this version. This one was done by another artist named Spencer. Wasn't able to grab one, but I've always wanted the young version and when I found out Rayman was going to hook it up, I was like, awesome. But then it was announced that he was going to be doing both versions. So it was more of a win-win uh, situation. So they finally have been released. And photos, videos won't do justice. You have to have these in hand. Uh, absolutely amazing. Completely fucking blown away. From the detail, um, the likeness that you can see, Gary Oldman. Uh, before anybody sits there and bashes the movie, yes, the movie wasn't, you know, the best of all uh, Draculas, but it will do. Uh, for me, though, it was more of Gary Oldman, always been a fan, and just the way that he portrayed the role of uh, Dracula, he just... He tore it up. No one can sit there and say that uh, this man did not um, play the role to perfection. Uh, he played the wolf, he played the bat, he did everything. And Lee caught the likeness to perfection. Uh, I really can't turn these things around uh, for two reasons. One, uh, his sh these shades are difficult to put on and they're very very fragile Robbie hooked it up I don't know how the hell he did it but he did it and I really don't want them to fall off again uh, and sit there and fuck around with it so I will try and give as much detail as possible but if you go with starting with the old man Dracula if you've seen the film, you cannot sit here and say that does not look 100% accurate. I was worried at first when I saw the hair and how uh, pink it was. But having this in hand, uh, I'm not worried about it at all. It looks fantastic. As usual, you insult with the clothing. exactly how it was in the film the screen print detail there on the inside never really was able to tell exactly how this design was on the inside so Lee had to pretty much just go on his own and completing the rest and he just is perfect He sculpted the hand. All from scratch, baby. Yes, he has hairy palms. <laughs> but that is exactly how it was in the film. All of this from scratch. And I think he literally, I think he sculpted these in like four days. He was done. I wish they could have be the fingers could be a little bit longer, but he was saying he was worried about them uh, breaking during the molding process. So I can understand that. Uh, the shoes are just red plain shoes that he made in the film. You don't really see what he's wearing. So he just went on ahead and just made it uh, plain red shoes. So what comes with the DX, or what comes with the old man Dracula, Fergo Black, 
uh, did the sword, which is made out of metal, screen accurate. And then the famous razor from when Keanu Reeves was uh, shaving and he licked the blood off the uh, the razor blade. How Fergo did this, amazing, don't know, but amazing overall. Uh, that is all that came with uh, Old Man Dracula. I kind of wish Lee did a sculpt with uh, with the expression of him getting ready to lick uh, the razor blade and it would have been nice if he would have done that uh, but you know no complaints uh, the detail though on let's see if we can get the back of it sorry y'all the hair he does have a, a tail that goes down hold on let me see if I can turn him around for y'all. I just don't want him to bump into the younger version and then those glasses fall off. There we go. So he's got everything from his uh, little ponytail that goes all the way down his back. Just the detail is amazing. I don't know how, I think he, um, I don't know how long it took for him to, come on, turn around. Don't know how long it took for him to sculpt the head, but he pretty much knocks them out pretty fast. And to be this detailed is amazing. You can't sit there and you can't tell me you don't see Gary Oldman in there. Now, the biggest one of them all is the younger version, the Victorian look of Dracula. Again, I want you to see the sculpt, but again, I really don't want to take those damn glasses off. So I'll see if I can get as much detail as possible. Uh, Robbie did the shades and they're absolutely amazing and 100% screen accurate. Uh, the sculpt has uh, obviously, you know, the mustache, the goatee, he sculpted the sideburns, you can see on the side and the rest is uh, real hair. The hat is glued on top of the head along with the hair so you cannot take it off. Um, I was having a problem with strands of hair that uh, kind of broke off, but I just reattached and re-glued it again. No issues. <clears throat> Outfit again, done by Unsel. Amazing. Uh, the cane, done by Rain Man. Uh, this is real silver. Come on, focus. That's real silver right there. Screen accurate to the film. He did the hands, of course, or the gloved hands. Did the little emblem there. I mean, just overall, complete 10 out of 10 with both of these figures. Uh, the hair does go all the way down to the back, exactly how it was in the film. This is what I wanted was uh, the young version here. For years, I've been wanting one done and finally got it. Trust me when I say the detail on the sculpt focus is amazing. I just don't want to take those glasses off because 
they are a pain to get them back on. So what comes with this one is uh, is just the uh, cane and then the shades by Robbie. But the complete DX package comes with a tribute bust to the film of the wolf. Which is actually, I mean, it's pretty cool, but um, I would have preferred, honestly, I would have preferred uh, the alternate head sculpt that I mentioned for this one. And then, I'm not going to lie, probably another head sculpt where he's not wearing the hat. I think that would have been uh, much better than adding uh, something like this in. There is another item, a uh, gift that came with the DX, unfortunately, mine uh, had some damage during the uh, shipping process. So uh, I'm going to send it back to him and have him fix that and send me another one. But uh, yeah, that's it. This is um, three out of 50. And uh, yeah, this is this is why I really can't, you know, do the whole and hopefully nobody takes offenses. This is why I can't really do the the bootleg shit because when folks come to look at my collection, I want them to, it's the quality, you know? I, I want them to see a fucking museum. I don't want them to see something that was, you know, bootleg and looks like shit. Uh, hot toys, you know, truthfully they need to, I mean, I love them, but then at the same time, uh, I can't really deal with the, um, I can't really sit there and I can't really deal with the whole, uh, constant fucking Iron Man, constant fucking Captain America, and it's just over and over and over again of the same uh, figure. I understand that it's the same movies that come out, but it just gets overwhelming with the constant, hey, guess what, a new fucking Captain America is number 32. Hey, another Black Widow, number 50. Hey, another Iron Man, that's number 100. Hey. Star Wars, I'm down with Star Wars. I'm down with uh, copying that. I just got uh, the Hot Toys Luke uh, Skywalker from A New Hope. I'll collect everything in Star Wars because that's my childhood movie there. But um, the Avengers, Iron Man, I, I can't do all that. I just can't. So um, hopefully Hot Toys will go further with the Alien production and venture. Just venture out. Get more license to do more shit. I'm just tired of, uh, I'm tired of Iron Man. But anyway... It's way off the subject. These two are a fucking masterpiece. Rain Man's top two, no, top figures, period. Um, Bill, unfortunately, is going to have to go in the number two spot. Anton will have to be number three. Uh, just these two are just fucking amazing. So, hope this gives you guys some insight on... Uh, on everything again sorry I'm not the best uh, reviewer so I don't really do the whole you know what's underneath the jacket because I'm not taking this outfit apart uh, the way you and them did the buttons on the shirt um, they're small little hooks and those fuckers are hard to get back in so because I ironed the pants and I had to tuck the shirt back in and they unhooked and it took me no shit an hour to get that shirt uh, hooked back up again and tucked back into the pants. We'll not be doing that again. So this entire collection is gonna be boxed up here pretty soon. Um, again, I'll be uh, moving. Yeah, he doesn't have any shoes, they're being painted. Uh, but yeah, I'll be uh, heading out to another spot, got a job offer, so these bad boys are going to be packed up here pretty soon, and I'll probably hit y'all up uh, when I get settled in. Peace.